purpose was to receive the bodies of the deceased, laid inside, together with several ritual in common objects, including pottery, napped and polished stone, or copper artifacts, decorated with scanning skylabs, adornments. They used this construction for about 1,500 years into the Bronze Age. Mm -hmm. okay. This monument was found by Eric Pina. 60s of the 20th century okay so all of these monuments were mainly discovered around the 60s okay. we are here everybody's here and then we'll go to the almendras okay. go right there all for us okay. perfect be careful on the slope yes. This would be on the top, like an entrance to a room. Practically half of the stone is in. They still don't know how they were able to do this yeah. 6,000 years ago. I mean, so heavy. Yeah, they have theories, but they really don't know mm. how it was made. For instance, the univer archaeology university here put together a couple of thousands of people to try. Yes. They failed. <laughs> so to test their theories, that how right. people did it. Hmm. This was completely buried, okay? Then they dig it up, but maybe it was like this, you know? They first make a big hole, they put the stones in, but this is all speculation. Always when you talk about prehistory, mm -hmm. prehistory mm -hmm. means before the writing, right. okay? So you can only guess. For, of course, with the scientific methods, try to guess how they did it, okay? Mm. But you never know 100% because there's no writings mm. telling you how they did it. So you can only develop theories. Okay, let's go up, have a look inside. Be careful, it's slippery, okay? Way buried, you see that how did they move this thing? Mm. There was no wheel at the time. Yeah. Maybe they were here to begin with. Yes. No, no, and no. They, uh, uh, they yeah. might not have come up far, but they always had to be carved. Mm. And in this time, was stone against stone. <laughs> and this would be the cover. Okay, you see here? That's it the cover, was, wow. Yeah, that was the cover. What was the cover? This stone. Oh. So make like a roof. Here. So that people would be buried inside. So this is what you can say. It's the beginning of cemeteries. Hang on, just okay. Mm -hmm. It's one of the biggest in the world and the biggest in the Iberian Peninsula. You have a lot of them here, but all much smaller. Okay, so this means he was an important chief. That's also a curious fact because if the hunting parties were never more than 30, 40 people, uh -huh. okay? But here, if people start to gather around in one place, they start to form cities and they start to be thousands. So what do you start to need? Organization, also a leader. So it's the beginning of the lines of kings and, and queens or, or leaders because mm -hmm. all of a sudden you need someone to organize and to create a social structure because it's too many people living in one place. It's a new challenge for mankind. So it's also the beginning of uh, uh, the trying of 
noble families to rise, okay? So the leader, then his son becomes the leader, and that's how kings and queens and the feudal system is a little bit born like that. Where are they buried? I don't see. No, they're, uh, they're they buried, buried in the ground. And they're still there? <laughs> uh, some are, yes. Because nobody's dug it up, right? No, so they dug it up, of course. They took some oh, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. 